we are still in conversation about how God responds during the time of crisis, especially for those who trust him. And like we have referred to this scripture in the book of Proverbs 14 and 34, that righteousness exhorts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. I break it down further to say, righteousness exhorteth a community, but sin will be a reproach to any community. Further broken down, righteousness exhorteth a family, but sin is a reproach to any family. Remember, no, no double standards. Father, we can go to an individual. Righteousness will exhort a person, but sin will be a reproach to any individual. God has no double standards. And I want to pray that each one of us understand of what is our personal responsibility in responding to what is God's will for our lives. Those of us who believe and trust the Lord, we have certain privileges that no one can contest. And there are promises that God has given. We're talking about how God deals with people even during a crisis. And the Lord still, like we have seen in that passage of Ezekiel, that will last a whole nation can be suffering. God can still have an exception, uh, can exempt people because of their commitment to righteousness. So in the issues we are addressing, number two, the Lord always takes care of his people. Notice, of his people. It might be good if we all went back in time and remembered the many times when the Lord graciously uh, and, and miraculously provided for, for, for the needs of his people. The book of Psalm 37 and verse number 25, David said something that was so significant. He said, I have been young and now I'm old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Isn't that a great promise? That if we walk in righteousness, even if there is famine, even if there is drought, there is a promise we can hold on to. Because God has promised never to forsake those that walk in righteousness and their children will not beg bread. That's a promise for those who believe. Now, he has never failed us. He has never forgotten us. He has never forsaken us. He is not about to start to do that now. This is an opportunity that we have to teach our children. Even during this difficult and financial difficult uh, times, to tell our children, to tell all, especially the saints, let us hold firm to our faith. Let us continue to practice that which is pleasing to God. Because that is our guarantee that nothing will fall apart. We shall enjoy a provision that comes from the heart of God. Lord, we thank you for the things we are learning about the promise and the provision that is ours because we trust you. We honor you and bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.